hello everyone in this video today we will talk about method of joint so method of joint we use usually to determine the all internal force of truss and when you usually do the truss design so we need to know uh, how exactly method of joint works so in here i have solved one question so step by step i will show you how you can do method of joint all right so the first things in here we have the factored load okay so the factored load is around 26 kilo newton all right from the question let me check the question first okay the the factor load is 26 kilo newton so 26 kilo newton per meter so the first things i have to multiply with the 12 i mean the distance then i will get 300 12 kilo newton so which i will divide it for the both side okay so i will get 156 156 support reaction once we finish this uh, finding the the you know reaction at support so what we can do we have to find out the theta okay so find out the so so for determining the theta so what we have to do we have to first find out the length right so from here to here we have three meter from here to here three meter so how we can 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 get the ag so for this one we have the formula right so tan theta equal three over three opposite and hypotenuse so we will get the one and then theta equal i will just use my calculator we will get the 45 degree okay so once we finish the 45 line in getting the theta value so now we already understand the reaction at support and the theta how to calculate so this is the first steps for doing the method of joint after that what we have to do every joint we have to analysis okay separately so the for the joint f so in here we have the joint f so in joint f we have fy so that's already we got fy is 156 right okay so after that we have the ag so sorry fg so in here i did mistakes sorry this is will be our f okay so now here we can see that fg fa ax so the the sec in the second step when we will analyze every joint so we have to find out the y value and the x value i mean the y direction value and the x direction value so for the y direction value when you can see here that how many how many y axis uh, force is uh, like available okay so in here we can see that fy yes fy is the upward force right okay fy plus f f a and our assumption is the upward direction is positive so that's why i add it and then equal zero then if y value already i know 156 that's why i put 156 and if f a value equal i don't know so i will just calculate it and i will get the negative 156 so once i get the negative 50 156 so that's mean it is the value for the compression okay so when we get the negative sign uh, in our answer so that's mean our assumption is wrong so we have to change it to the compression okay so when we take the direction so we have to uh, you know uh, like careful on on that matter okay after that once we finish the uh, find out the force uh, on y direction so we will go to find out the x direction so if x so in here you can see a x right so a x zero all right and if fz i don't know this one so so if if i just you know uh, substitute the value and calculate it i will get the if fc is equal to also zero so so for the joint f we already finished the analysis okay in the same way we will follow for the next joint so next joint is joint a so for the joint a you can see okay 
for the joint a we have one downward force here okay downward which is p by 2 is 39 kilo newton right okay so once i get it so okay 39 kilo newton this is the a joint so in the a joint i i got f a b and also f a g in two direction um, after that now in the same way i will follow for the f y so the first things i can see here we have to assume the direction okay so i take the direction as upward is positive okay upward is positive so once i say upward is positive so that's mean when i will see okay when i will see that the a direction has two f y right one is 156 so the f y equal 156 this 39 is negative because our assumption is upward is positive but this 39 is downward so that's why i take negative okay minus okay minus f a g you can see that f a g right downward so that's why i write minus f a g and then sign 45 so when we do the calculation for y direction our our uh, like the we, we will take the sine theta so our theta is 45 so that that's why i take the 45 so once we will just you know plug in all those informations into the equation we will do the calculation and we will get the 165.46 and which is the positive value and positive value is tensile okay so for the x direction value we have fab okay as usual and the direction is that this arrow is positive so that's why i take fab but when i'm going to find out the fag so i need to find out with fag cos theta okay so for the x axis i mean the x direction we will use the cos theta so just i will plug in the value okay so fag value that's just i got it 165 right i will i just plug in the value okay and the cos 45 so cos 45 i'll do the calculation i will get the 117 t i mean the tension okay so in same way every joint i will calculate okay once i finish the analysis and calculate every joint's force so i i now i need to do the correction for the direction that i take when i i ca calculate right 